Hey guys, Matt from Total MTG here, and it's Deck Tech Tuesday. So, Eva Revolt is nearly upon us. We have all had our pre releases. I hope you had all good pre releases. Mine was pretty good as well, apart from I went for the midnight one and got far too tired as I had to work the next day, so I couldn't last very long. But my pull wasn't particularly good, but it was okay. I did pull a Tezzerat, which I was very happy with because I want to build around that card. But anyway, I hope you all had a good time. So, what I'm looking at is my Jeski control deck. Um, I took it to the previous game day and to the um, standard showdowns. So, basically, I'm going to stick with the deck and see if I can add in some um, Ether Revolt cards, make it better, make it stronger. Now, I know you're, always probably, th you're all probably thinking just control, you're thinking of the copycat combo. But I am not going to play the copycat combo. It might be brilliant. It could be everywhere. But I don't like playing necessarily all the time decks that everyone else is playing. And plus, I just sold all my Sahili Rays for a very, very good price. And bought some nice legacy cards out of the proceeds that I think are a lot better value. And um, yeah, I think I got... I had three Sahilis and I sold them for £52, which is about $63 for three. Which I think is a very good time to cash in. But I'm not stop, you know, not having a go. Anyone wants to play the deck, it's just not me. I just, you know, looked a bit of finance and thought, hey, I could get some legacy staples out of this. So let's have a look at my Jeski control deck as it is at the moment. We have uh, three torrential gear hulks, one Ulamog the ceaseless hunger. Uh, then we've got variation numbers you can see from the screen there. We've got declaration stones, radiant flames, fumigate, quarantine fields, some anticipates, harness lightnings, really good in immolating glare, negate, rev buffs. Scatter to the Winds, Void Shatter, Glimmer of Genius, and the Planeswalkers, a couple of Nahiri and a Jace. Um, I will leave a link below so you can see the deck is, because you know, there's things I want you to do later, guys. Um, you can see the lands as well, it's 26 lands, um, incorporating Wonder Infirmarals, Ether Hub, stuff like that, all other stuff like that. Wonder Infirmal is an absolute great card for this deck. I've won games and games just with Wonder Infirmarals. So, this is the deck. So the cards I'm looking at for possible Ether Revolt editions, I want you know, I want your opinion on these cards. Let me know what you think are coming because at the end um, of the video, when you get time, I want you all to sort of look at the cards I want to try and incorporate with the deck. Think about maybe the possible meta, and everyone's meta is obviously going to be different. Um, if you know, all of a sudden everyone's playing the combo, I might have to go a different kind of configuration or something like. That. You have to look obviously look what people are playing in your your local game store or your friends. And you want to try and battle against them. So the cards I'm looking at are Barrel Chief of Compliance. It's a 1-3, one, 1 and a blue legendary creature. Instant and sorcery spells cost 1 less to cast. Um, early creature for us does die to a lot of stuff. Harness Lightnings, the new Fatal Push. Uh, whenever you uh, spell or ability you control, can't spell, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. So you can see it's got a lot of potential in control for us. Um, like I say, it is easily killed as well. A lot of people are saying this is a brilliant, you know, EDH commander. It's probably why it's up to about ten quid, twelve dollars over here. Um, but it, you know, it really could be nice in this deck. You know, let me know what you think about that. Uh, onto some more counter spells here. Uh, the one they call the Mana Leak that isn't quite Mana Leak. Metallic Rebuke has improvised. Um, thinking about this, you know, we don't really have the we don't have the artifacts to sort of make use of this. So maybe we'd have to incorporate some other stuff, maybe some prophetic prisms come in, or some other nice one-drops that are in the new set, one-drop artifacts, maybe. But would it take it away from the deck? But I do like this counter spell, but I'd have to configure the deck a lot better. Maybe you can think of some ideas of bringing so we can play Rebuke. Uh, one that will certainly um, be coming in is Disallow. Um, already know that Scatter to the Winds will probably bite the dust. You know, bring in Disallow, maybe take out some Void Shatters, but Void Shatter is very, very good. But I like what this does. Counter target spell activated ability or trigger ability. You know, really good cards. Same again, problem with maybe the improvised reverse engineer. I do like I like cards that draw cards. This draws three. So maybe you can, you know, if you're changing the package completely, you can put in the rebook and the reverse engineer. Bringing in prisms will make it a bit cheaper. Prisms likely to stay on the field. He, you know, helps a bit with the mana as well. If I add in some prisms, you know, pay one tap for any colour. We do run three colours. Um, Barrel's Expertise, return up to three target artifacts and or creatures to their owner's hand. Then you may cast a card with covered in mana cost of four or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. So, you know, th this could be really, really good to us. We could pay you cast a Nahiri for nothing. We could cast Glimmer of Genius. You know, something like that. Um, Declaration in Stone we runs. 
So we can return stuff, you know, maybe get rid of something else as well. Barrel Expertise seems a pretty, pretty sweet card, to be honest. Um, I love the flavour text in it as well. Get out of my way. Absolutely hilarious. Love the art. I'd like to pick up a foil axe. I reckon it'd be look really cool in foil. Also looking at Decommission. Uh, instant disenchant kind of thing. Destroy target artifacts or enchantment. Obviously costs one more. Uh, revolt. If a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, you gain three life. So maybe add in some, um, what do they call it, Revolving Wild, something like that. Or, you know, maybe that's the way to do it. Decommission, probably just a good sideboard card. Forgetting about the three life. Instant speed removal for artifact or enchantment. SRAM's Expertise, that was my promo card at pre-release. You create three 1-1 one -one servos. You may cast a card with covered mana cost three from your hand. Does cost four. I mean, people were talking about this, you know, maybe dropping a gid. I mean, I can't see dropping a gid in for one of them, but what, what do I know? Uh, you know, we could cast this, get some blockers, get some servos, and then we could play maybe a deck in stone, anticipate, um, something along those lines. You know, we do run counter spells, so it won't, play, you know, really hit much else, but... You know, we we'll have to wait and see. Um, Equisite Archangel, I really like. I mean, maybe bringing this in as a one-off creature or something like that. It does cost seven. It's a 5-5 five, five flyer. If you would lose the game instead, exile it, and your total will go back to being 20. You know, this could be a nice... Probably not as good as Linvala, but Equisite Archangel is definitely worth thinking about. Shock, really good. Shock does two damage to target creature or player. Interaction maybe with, you know, it might be a bit late when you want to try and kill Sahili. Obviously, it does two damage to other stuff, but it's a really good card shock. And um, you're definitely worth thinking about putting in as well. And I'm looking at Hungry Flames. I mean, Hungry Flames does cost two and a red. It's three, but it does three damage to target creature and two damage to target player. So it is a slightly bigger, you know, you can maybe hit three damage to a servant, something like that. Then redirect two damage to a planeswalker if you want, Liliana's. They can come down early. Hungry Flames, you know, maybe a good cyborg card. You'll have to let me know what you think. But these are the cards, you know, that I'm thinking of incorporating into my Jeski Control deck in some way or another, or maybe just changing a few of you. Let me mention a few other cards maybe as well. Um, but, you know, if you could think of any others that you think would be good in the deck, also leave it in the comments. I'm always, you know, happy to hear that. So looking at cards that we, you know, potentially might come across a lot of, um, this is a card that I think we might see a lot of plays. It you know, sort of influences what I want to change the deck to. Uh, Metallic Mimic. I think that's going to be a very popular card. When it ends the battlefield, choose a creature type. Uh, they mimic chosen type. They get in addition to the other types. Each creature you control that chosen type ends the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter. So, you know, good for buffering up stuff. It only costs two. Um, will die to shock straight away, which is good. You know, thinking about bringing shocks in, this will die to shock straight away. Heart of Kieran. Um, I played against it in pre-release. It was amazing when I played against it. It just won the games. Um, it just beat me hands down, this card. Um, didn't even have to, you know, not worrying about the loyalty counter for Planeswalker, you control or anything like that. It come down and it was flying vigilance. He crewed it straight away. Uh, he made quick servos and it was just really, really hard to, hard to beat. Uh, it's 4-4, flying vigilance. Um, I had stuff in my hand that <laughs> was like against tapped creatures, and it was just really hard for me to beat. This was, um, but Heart of Kieran, very very good card. So we've got to look at ways of countering this and stuff because it can come down very early. Obviously, revolutionary, revolutionary rebuff is very bad against these sort of cards. Uh, non artifact, and I think we're going to see a lot of artifacts. So we've got to think of ways of combating this, and obviously we've got an idea of some cards that we can add in, maybe up some and others. Uh, the other one I think we'll see a lot of is Ether Sphere Harvester. Uh, now Copter's gone. I think these two cards here, Heart of Kieran and Ether Sphere, are going to be played a lot. Uh, this is a three-five, so it's you know it's got big toughness, hard to kill. When it ends the battlefield, you get two energy counters. Pay one energy counter. It gains life link to end of turn. But the crew, all important, is only one on this, so it is very good, very easy to activate. But it does cost three, so it's not you know it's nowhere near as good as Copter. It's not as fast. But it's going to be hard to deal with. So looking at how we're going to combat this, maybe we should be adding in some ceremonious rejections. You know, usually I'd have this in a sideboard, but with the amount of artifacts in, I'm actually thinking of maybe running a couple in the main deck. And possibly up in the gate as well. Um, currently in the gate, I think I've got one, and there was one in the sideboard as well. But I think, you know, there is a case now for ceremonious rejection to come into the main board. It's going to be... You know, hitting a lot of stuff. 
It's hard though because if you have one or two, you're obviously your chances of having it in your open hand or not. But is four going to be too many? Maybe not. There's going to be a lot of colourless stuff out there. You know, you have to look at your meta and see what obviously what it is where you play. You know, we're not not talking about going to major tournaments. I'm not talking that. But you know, I want to I want to you know make this deck very competitive. And these two cards here, you know, colours artifacts. We say no thanks. This is what we we don't want to hit them to hit those artifacts. But these are maybe you know ways for us to stop them with this deck. So, like I said, the new combo is the copycat combo. It's Felidir Guardian and Sahili Ray. They make a copy. They make loads and loads and loads of cats. Absolutely hideous amounts of cats. And then they hit you with haste and, you know, do loads of damage to you. Um, it's, it's very good, to be honest. The combo, you know, you don't usually talk about, like, the twin combo. It's going to be, have to be something you want to, you know, you're going to have to, in any deck you make, not just with my Jeski Control deck, it's going to be something that you're going to have to battle through. There probably will be a hell of a lot of people. The way those... Um, my CP Rays lasted a day on eBay, and they were sold straight away. Um, so, you know, you might think crazy for selling, but, you know, I didn't want to play the deck that everyone else plays. I like playing different decks, and it might not be the right choice, but I've had lots of, lots of you know, lots of good wins with this Jesse Control deck, and, uh, you know, I just don't want to stop playing it. So, how do we combat this? So, like I said, you've got different counter spells we can add in. You can stop the activator's abilities with disallow. That's, you know, that's a good way of doing it. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking about maybe authority of councils. So, basically what CD Days will bring, they bring all these cats in, but they're coming tapped, and they have to be exiled at the end. So, they're not going to be able to attack you. Plus, you know, it does stop them from making all the cats, because you're going to gain a life for every single one of them. I've seen people talk about maybe bringing Eva Flux. Is it Eva Flux Reservoir? So they combo off, you get 50 life and just kill them that way. That seems absolutely fun. But this is, you know, this is the way, that, you know, basically to stop them from attacking you. Whether you have to play for it. I mean, authorities of councils is good anyway. But, you know, they'll probably just do fragmentize and then do the combo. But if you can, if you can derail a combo, slow it down a bit, it gives you a chance to catch up. Have better cards in your hand, obviously, that you can deal with a problem. Um, you know, if they have to do spend more mana to do their combo by killing authority first, if you've got two down, it can slam down even more. You know, maybe we will have to play, you know, four main deck authority of councils if there's so many of this copycat combo around. We do like making those sad. And they're sad because of us because we will stop their dirty combo. And then hopefully it'll be a fad and it are all gone and then Sahili's will drop down to us, you know, a more manageable price and I'll go and buy it back again. <laughs> that's, that's the plan anyway. So, guys, this was the deck for Deck Tech Tuesday. Um, it's my Just Kick Control deck. Obviously, looking at with Eva Revolt, I will be brewing lots of brews. Even though this is the deck I'm trying to play at the moment in card form, I will be brewing lots of Eva Revolt decks. We've got lots of ideas. There's some fun cards in this set. And I'll be doing, you know, uh, booster box opening and stuff like that. And our nice, one of our nice subscribers um, over in Ireland, Taylor, has um, donated to the channel a bundle from Eva Revolt. So I will be opening that on camera and putting a video up for you as well. I know you like some pack openings, and I enjoy doing them as well. And I'll probably get a booster box as well, you know me. Anyway, guys, don't forget, leave in the comments what you think, what you think we could add in, what we take out, um, thinking about a certain matter, what you think is going to be around, what you think we will need main board, do you think authority has to be in the main board, ceremonious rejection, taking it on, what you take out, you know, not just sort of say, yeah, put this, put this in, you know, sort of say what you think we should change around a bit. Hopefully the um, core base of the deck will still be there once we're all finished. Um, but what I'll do, I'll do an update video of this once I've, you know, everyone's put them all in. Leave links to maybe deck lists in there. You know, use Tapped Out or the one I use as well, which is Decks Builder. Leave a link in the comments of the deck you put together. And then I'll take a look at it. And then uh, what I'll do is a video later in a few weeks on another Deck Tech Tuesday. And we'll see where we stand with this deck. Anyway, guys, this has been Deck Tech Tuesday. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. And if I could all ask you to press that bell underneath, because some people are missing some videos, it's because YouTube have changed some stupid thing. So you need to press that bell underneath, and it gives you a notification every time I put a video up. That would be really helpful. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.